guys, welcome to Shiny Bright Doggo. I'm Laura. And I'm Janine. And if you're coming back to our channel, thanks for joining us yet again for another adventure. And if you're new to our channel, we have gotten quite a few new subscribers. Yeah, thanks for subscribing. Thank you guys. Um, we are vintage enthusiasts and collectors, mainly in vintage holidays, so vintage Christmas, Halloween, Easter, and also just like kitschy mid-century things. We mainly collect, I'd say. Mm -hmm. And we'll do some reselling to fund our collections. Yep. It never hurts to get an extra buck or two. So today we're going, I'm so excited. I know. I found this um, rummage sale on Facebook Marketplace. And in our area, we're in like the New York, New Jersey area. There aren't a lot of rummage sales. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know. I think they're pretty popular in the Midwest. But this is our first rummage sale. I'm super excited. It's about um, 8.30 in the morning. So we're going to head over. It looks pretty good by the pictures. Yeah, and it looks big. It does look big. We're going to head in and see what we can find. Yeah, let's go. Hi. Anything? A um, couple of interesting bags of things. Oh, okay. That's cute, the Cracker Barrel um, snowman. Yeah. These have plastic on the end, so they're not as new. Probably anywhere. It could even be from the 90s, so these are newer. Is she broken? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, those are so cute. How much is the bag? It's really cute. Is it a dollar? Yeah, let's get that. Nice find. Are you digging in here? 
Did you check this one? No, I just walked over here. Okay. Oh my god, this thing. Um, pretty common stuff. What's in here? Old gift bags, but they're newer. Yep. For a dollar, I think so. Uh, table mats? No. Oh my god, this is so cute. Definitely made in Japan by that little face. He's so cute. Oh wow, that's in good condition too. Look at that old red paint. Mm. Oh, is it not working? Um, a little jam. This rummage sale was like an estate sale. Like there was so much and the things were so cheap. So we just like filled a box. Yeah. And <laughs> figured out what the pricing was after the fact. Um, I found this, this is new. This is a hanging light up snowman. Obviously very vintage inspired, but this was released uh, by Cracker Barrel, I think a few years ago, mm -hmm. but it was only a dollar. Wow. Originally 15. And I think like these vintage looking things have a good resell value sometimes. So I just saw him and I couldn't pass him up. I'll definitely resell him. Can I pull him out? Yeah. Cute. He's in great condition. Really cute face. Yeah. And like on camera, it looks like that's dented, but it's supposed to have that texture. Yeah. Little cool nose. Yeah. Really cute. So the first thing I grabbed right away when I went into the sale was this really cool, like, curio cabinet. You can see us. <laughs> Hello. Um, yeah, so it was marked 20 but I think that was from, like, a yard sale that they tried to sell it at. I got it for $5. I think it's a little newer. Like, I think it's from, like, the late 70s, if I had to guess. I don't think it's mid-century, but I thought it was so fun. I love the mirrored back. Mm -hmm. I'm not crazy about the color, so I might strip it and restain it a little darker to match our other furniture pieces. Um, it's actually pretty big. Yeah, it's very large. It's, it's really nice. Pretty substantial, so it's in pretty good condition. And I thought for $5, it was a steal. I found quite an assortment of bags of things that I don't quite know what's inside of, but they kind of excited me. So I got this bag of uh, Halloween and it was $1.50 and I'm gonna take out some pieces and show you why I picked it up. Oh look! He's oh, holding a little, a little pail on he's there. He's holding a little pail. The littlest pail. Oh, it's a spider holding on to a little tiny... Oh no, oh. it's just the... How yeah, cute! That's older. Yep. <laughs> that's cute. So I find tins like this really fun and cool to put in um, displays because 
you can also stack things on top of it and give it height and i love this black and orange just a classic halloween color uh color scheme to decorate with can i see the top and the top is pretty cool too that's cute um i saw this inside of it it's uh made in china so it's you know uh more recent but i thought it was really cute it's a jacks set but it's spiders instead that's of the funny. little jacks and i thought that was really cute and fun for halloween look at this like little vampire teeth like just really fun things to put like i have a shadow box i do a halloween shadow box so things like this are really fun to put inside of that i love this yeah what I a just, great find was there only one there was only one and i found this towards the end it was just in a random box but how cute this is um crepe paper streamer streamer oh it's so cute it's probably from like the 90s yeah, yeah it's not that old um but i thought it was so cute and again if you want to put this in the background of like a shadow box um mm. which is probably what i will do uh it makes a great background i picked up this planter for a dollar not a super sought out planter it's a little bit newer it's not as detailed as some of the japan pieces you'd find um but still collectible can sell him for like seven dollars or so and he was only a dollar so that's a good deal i think he'll clean up really nicely found this new old stock uh poinsettia tablecloth for only a dollar christmas tablecloths are really collectible the poinsettia not so much because it's more common but because it was brand new and has really nice graphics i did decide to pick it up for a dollar i was so excited to find this guys oh my gosh these um I don't know what they're called, but they hold your Christmas cards. They're so cute. And new in the package. It's just fantastic. Love the graphics. This is probably from, the, I was going to say the 60s. It's marked 1964, made entirely in USA. Look at that. I love wow. it. Wow. And it's actually cheaper than when it was back in the 60s. <laughs> the original cloth. It's so fun. And look at the back. How fun. 1964. So I don't know if I'm going to sell this yet. I've never found one myself in the wild yet. So it's a little, you know, fun. It might be hard to give up, but it was only 25 cents. Janine, you found some really good ceramics here. Yeah, I was surprised that this was just a dollar too. I'm going to open it up, but you can already kind of get a little look. She's still on her original little paper. Wow. Bottom, so let's take open a look it up. At this open it up. How oh cute my is gosh. she? She's so cute. She's holding a little candy cane little candy cane girl cute and you want to hold that i'll get the next one out now there are some casualties i found this bag with some broken little pieces but she can her head can go back oh yeah on. that's a pretty clean cut yep oh look and at that she has like a star in her head she has a little star i don't think i've ever seen her before she's pretty cool i have this little girl that is on this little card oh she matches yeah they're probably a part of a set yeah i have another one as well i don't know if they do you think they put them on this card? They probably, they might have come like that in the store. If any of you guys know. Um, it's interesting because they both have like this uh, felt yeah, material on them. Hmm. But really Let cute. Let the third one out. There's another one? Yes. And she's holding a little lamp. Oh, and look, there's another card in here. And uh, it says Xmas. Huh. And... Um, yeah, she's right here. Oh, how cute is she? Put her with and the so other ones. I have this little set of three cute little ceramic girl figures. Yep, these are definitely vintage, probably made in the mid 50s to mid 60s. Um, they might have a Made in Japan sticker under there, but they just have that classic Christmas look. I love them. Great find. Thank you. Janine, I don't know if you saw this. Um, I didn't. I was like digging through the tablecloths because I was like, there's got to be a really cute vintage one. And then I can't, oh my God, I haven't opened it up yet. That is the cutest. Let's see if we can get a Easter good shot Easter tablecloth. That is really cute. Wait, just hold it steady. Wow. How cute how is that? Cute. Oh my gosh. They're in a hot air balloon. They're painting eggs. They're on the carousel. I love it. I don't know how big it is. It's so cute. I'm like absolutely obsessed with this. And it's like a nice size. It's not too big. Sometimes these are like huge. I don't think we'll ever have like a huge table, um, dining table. So I'm so excited about this. How much was it? $2. Really good deal. Yeah. I found this little bag of trinkets uh, for a dollar. And I picked it up because of these two. The little Santa with the spaghetti trim mm -hmm. hat and the little mrs claus oh she's cute and you know what she's marked napco yeah bone china napco were made in taiwan so because they're made in taiwan 
They might be a little newer from like the 70s, um, which I actually do find surprising because they look very like 50s yeah. or 60s to me. There's actually some other like really cute like newer like 90s Christmas stuff. Mm -hmm. So whatever I end up uh, not keeping will be redonated to the thrift store. But for, do for a dollar? Why They're not? really. What's in that box? So this is two dollars. Oh, it's filled <laughs> with bone chillers. Yeah. Oh, did it come in this box? Seems like it because it's covered in bone. Yeah, yeah, and that's why I just picked it up because this is so cool. And it reminds me of being a kid. And look at that. Like, what are some of these things? This is so 90s. This reminds me of this looks like it was a creepy crawler kit, you know? Mm -hmm. One of the creepy crawlers. Um, and I thought it'd be really fun to just like go through this and see what is in here. Um a lot of and like, look, there's even like a little like army man. A lot of hair in here. It's a lot of hair, which is really disgusting. <laughs> we um, gotta clean this and wash our hands after this. But this little frog. Yeah, yeah for two dollars, I'm like, I'll get this whole thing. And I think that the box is really cool. So I don't know if I'll keep all of them in here, but I will definitely use the box in some sort of Halloween display. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Even it just like sitting on a shelf like that with like the bugs right? crawling out, it's pretty cool. Right. So, fun find. Oh, thank you. Okay, I haven't even looked at this, but to me, I was like, this looks like a, a vintage um, Ninja Turtle. And um, I'm seeing it now. It is from 1994. So it is an older Ninja Turtle. And I think this like comes undone. Somehow, it opens up. Okay, we got it undone. We had to do a little <laughs> off camera magic uh, to get this open, but look at this oh my god this is like this is so cool this is like um, um this is like Polly pocket ninja turtle <laughs> it is it probably came with a little turtle which i'm not seeing any uh no turtles accessories in, there? in here um yeah it probably came with a tiny turtle or something and this yeah it was probably like a turtle version of a Polly pocket <laughs> i I'll love have to it. do some research on this and see if I can insert something here of of what these were like. This is so cool. What did you and, pay for it? Uh, 50 cents. Wow. Yeah. That's fun. These are so good, guys. Love the box. Wow, they were like hidden on the table. They're only 25 cents each, which is incredible. Yeah, these, the value of these is all in the box and the packaging. People will decorate with these boxes and they just have such amazing colors and graphics and are in pretty good condition. Let's pull one out just to see though what it looks like. So just like a hurricane lamp. It does mm -hmm. have a nice With the bolt, candle though. inside yeah. of it. That's really cool. I don't know if it works, but for 25 cents, just for the box, it's definitely worth it. I got this really cute little guy. I'm really upset. I ended up chipping him by accident. But that's okay. We can fix it. I really hope so. This is a Japan piece for sure. There's a certain look to these figures that are different than other ones made in Japan. I do try to collect them, but they're pretty hard to find. I'll put in some pictures to give you guys an idea. So even though he doesn't have a Japan sticker, I still knew that he was like a vintage mid-century piece. And he's so kitschy. He's so cute. I love him. Mm -hmm. In the pile of tablecloths, I came across this, Janine. Oh my god, I love that. Oops. Oh, and there's the tablecloth that you bought. I mean, hang. the tablecloth. The, the handkerchief, handkerchief that yep, you bought. I bought this little handkerchief. It's really pretty. But um, I was really excited to find this. This is probably from like the 90s. Um, but still, stuff that they don't really make anymore. So, oh, I love it. That's so much fun. So fun. That's everything I found. So that wraps up everything we found. I think we spent a total of like 20 to $25, but I think that's a great deal for everything we got. We hope you enjoyed. If you are enjoying our content, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you always know when we're putting out a new video and uh, hit that like button. It really helps us out. So thanks for joining us guys. See you next time. Bye. Bye.